lady, it is KG and welcome to my body care video. Today we are going to be discussing my body care routine and tips. About a year ago, I started really again investing in and caring about my skincare. It's always been something that's been difficult for me because my skin I find is quite stubborn, so it's hard to find products that work, stay working, and are in a good price range for me. But in my interest with skincare, I learned to really like it, really appreciate it. I really started to consider it as a therapeutic pampering process and just a time of the day to focus on taking care of me. No phone in the bathroom when I do my skincare, not listening to anything, not watching anything, not even really thinking about anything, just taking some time to care for my face. And of course, that desire to care for myself ended up spreading into my body. So I do have a bit of a body care routine. It is partially to help correct some of the discoloration that I have on myself, but mostly it exists for pampering purposes and to ensure that my skin is soft and smooth and well-maintained. Occasionally I will take something that I like to call a skincare shower, or in which case I take a particularly long shower. It doesn't have to be long. I can usually get this routine done in a good 15-20 minutes if I put my mind to it. But in my skincare showers I like to take my time a little more, go a little slower, really care for myself, really pamper. Sometimes I'll even light a candle, set the mood in the bathroom instead of having the big light on, and just really have some time to myself while in the shower. So, I thought I would share this skincare and body care routine with you guys. Before we get into it, a quick word from our sponsor, me. I've been making YouTube videos for over two years now, and unfortunately, growth has been kind of slow. Thus, to try and speed up this process, I'm uploading a video every single day for the first 30 days of August, and I could use you guys' help to reach my goals. You could help me reach my YouTube goals by pressing subscribe, so you can always find me again easily. You could also hit the notification bell, so you're notified exactly what time I upload tomorrow and in the future. You could share this video with your friends if you like it, so that they can like it too. And of course, you could leave a like and a comment to improve my engagement rate. Improving my engagement shows YouTube that my videos are good and entertaining, and something that they should show to more people on their recommended and home pages. It'll really help spread my channel around and help me get closer to my goal of getting 100 subscribers. If you like my August uploads, maybe help yourself, your friends, and a small creator out by clicking some of the lovely buttons beneath this video. I could really use you guys' help on this. I've been trying to grow my YouTube for a very long time, and just a little bit of engagement, just doing one of the things I asked for would be a great help. Thank you for listening, and now back to your regular scheduled programming. That is correct. You heard that right. I am uploading a video every single day for the month of August, except the 31st. So, if you don't like today's video, you can always check out yesterday's. It is something different. And if you do like today's, you can hit that subscribe button so that you will know when I upload tomorrow. So with that being said, let's get into the routine. I like to begin my body care routine by setting the scene. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes I like to set candles out, but today I decided to do something a little bit different. Sometimes instead of skincare showers, I do take skincare baths, but when I don't have the time for all of that, a nice trick that I like to do is take my bubble bath, which is the Dr. Teal's Balance and Calm Matcha Green Tea Foaming Bath Wash with Epsom salt, and I like to take my bubble bath, put it into the bottom of the shower, and close the drain. This way, I get a nice bit of a feet soak. The um, smells and scents from the bubble bath come to me while I'm in the shower, but I don't have to spend as much water as I would in a typical bath. So it's a more cost-efficient way of getting some of the benefits of a bath. It's sort of like having a shower bomb and a foot bath in one. Once I've got that set up, I begin the washing process with exfoliation. I don't typically chemical and physically exfoliate my body in the same shower, but if I do, it's best to start with chemical. That being said, for a chemical exfoliant, I use the Equate Beauty Oil-Free Acne Wash Salicylic Acid Treatment. This is actually a skincare like for the face treatment, but I use it for my body because it is relatively cheap. It comes in a pretty big bottle, so there's a lot to use. And for my face, personally, I feel like this has too much fragrance. It also has yellow and red dyes in it, so I find for my face, I'm trying to move fragrance and dye free as much as I can, but the skin on the body is more resilient and can withstand products like that. So I will put that on my body and I do all of my washes with a loofah, but you could use a loofah, a sponge, a washcloth, or a microderma vibration kind of cloth or those hand glove thingies to ensure that you get a good exfoliation. I just wash that all over my body and rinse it off. 
Next, if I am physically exfoliating in the same wash, I will use Hemp Moisturizing Body Scrub in Pomegranate. I just started using this scrub before I was using the typical Shea. Hmm. I forget the brand. I'll look it up and put it here. I was using Dare Scrubs. I find that this scrub is um, less intense. It's less harsh of a scrub. And I really like the scent of it as well. So this has been a fun use for me. But I use it as a physical exfoliant, really rubbing it and incorporating it into the skin, making sure to go over multiple times in the same place to ensure that I get a nice buffing effect with that. It smooths out the skin, removes dead skin cells, and also prepares the skin for shaving. In this particular shower, I didn't have to shave, but if I were to shave, I just use pure silk shaving cream for dry skin, so it's a little bit more moisturizing. It has vitamin E in it as well to ensure those moisturizing properties. Once I finished exfoliating and shaving, I grab my loofah again and move into my regular wash. I'm not sure that this step is necessary. I don't know if my um, exfoliator has cleaning agents in it, but either way, it's just an extra step that I would like to do. This product is good, but I will not be repurchasing it. It is the Suave Essentials Milk and Honey Moisturizing Body Wash. This is moisturizing. It leaves the skin feeling, well, moisturized. <laughs> and the milk and honey scent is really, really great. It's also suave, so you know it's cheap. The reason I won't be buying this again is because I want to try using some more expensive products with different moisturizing agents to see how that goes. Also, this is a Unilever product and I am trying to limit my support of Unilever because they are very environmentally unsustain unsustainable. You can see the little U on the back for Unilever. But if you don't care about that, the efficiency is good. It leaves me feeling moisturized. The scent is amazing and I really like this because it lathers up a lot. And gets the skin just flowing with soap. It lathers up, it moves around. To those of you out there who don't wash your legs, this one slides down the body, so it'll be good for you. I would, however, advise washing your legs. <laughs> and once I've done that, I am done with the washing process. I made sure I wash behind my ears, between my toes, and every inch of me is clean. While I do want to start investing into honey pot products soon, I find right now that just using my regular body soap in my vulva area isn't an issue, so that's what I do to anyone who is curious. But once I'm done with that, I hop out of the shower and pat dry with a towel. Then begins the moisturization process. Yes, darling, I have dry skin on my body, so I really like to go in with some strong moisturizing agents to get myself feeling good again. So the first thing that I go in with is Amlactin Daily Alpha Hydroxy Therapy. This is the Amlactin with the green label. Previously, I was using the purple label. I find they both work really well. Amlactin uses lactic acid to help smooth out the texture of your skin on your body. I use Amlactin mostly on my chest and shoulders. And I do have these strange bumps, I'm presuming they're acne, that appear chest, shoulders, and upper back. And these bumps, when they appear, they leave um, acne scars, basically. So a bunch of dark marks on me. I call them my speckles. <laughs> so um, using Amlactin for the past good while, it takes a while to really have an effect, but it does have an effect. So using Amlactin for the past year, I would say, has really helped my shoulder area. Another thing that I will do to help the discoloration there is to put some freshly cut aloe vera on the shoulders. I didn't do it today because I didn't have any aloe. But if I did, I would have used it and it does help pretty significantly with the discoloration. I will show you guys where my shoulders are at now and then compare them to my previous skincare video, which is done, you know, this date ago. As you can see, they are progressing. I'm certainly still speckled um, because I really don't keep up with doing the things that I should be doing every day. But even without doing it every day, the speckles are less noticeable and I'm getting way less new bumps and new dots. Once I've applied my medicated-ish moisturizer to my very upper body, I go into the whole body with Jergens Ultra Healing Lotion. It heals and repairs ultra dry skin with vitamin C, E, and B5. I prefer Jergens as my like grocery store, public store version brand of lotion. I find Nivea is way too watery. Suave is also too watery, doesn't really do much for me. Vaseline is fine, but the way that the new bottles work, I end up 
constantly pushing the bottle and the Vaseline comes out the wrong side so then there's just Vaseline on my wall instead of in my hand. So the Jergens, the way that the bottle looks is just most efficient for me and my three brain cells that remain. And I also find the Jergens very moisturizing. If Jergens isn't enough for you, I would recommend maybe Gold Bond as they have um, eczema specific lotions. Even if you don't have eczema, it can be good for very, very dry skin if you find something like Jergens or Vaseline lotion isn't enough for you. And similarly to how I do my hair, once I've gone in with my lotion on my body, I like to seal it all in. I do this typically using either a whipped shea butter or coconut oil. Today I decided to do coconut oil and I've limited, not limited, I've reduced the amount of coconut oil that I use because I find I don't want to look oily. I just want to be moisturized and soft and nice. So I just take a nice little amount for each limb, rub it up in my hands to warm it up, and then rub it into the skin. It adds an extra bit of moisture and I feel like it seals in everything that I've done thus far. And once I'm done with the coconut oil, that marks the end of my nighttime skincare routine. I will, of course, do my face care as well, but that is going to be another video. And once I've completed my skincare, I love to just curl up in bed, feel the softness of my exfoliated and shaven legs against my sheets, and watch some nice TV or Netflix or something before I have to go to sleep. It's just a really nice way to take care of myself, have some time to focus on me, really relax and enjoy what I'm doing with myself and no one else for just a little while. I hope you guys enjoyed the skincare routine. Please let me know if you have anything different that you do in your body care routine or anything that you think I could be doing that would be better for my body care routine. I hope you also enjoyed that these products are all on a budget. I am a relatively cheap person. Yes, I was raised a cheapskate. And on top of that, I haven't had a job in quite a while. <laughs> I'm working on that now, but I haven't had a job in a minute. <laughs> so for the time being, this is a good routine for me and my price bracket. I want to remind you guys that I'm uploading every single day for the first 30 days of August, so please press subscribe and that notification bell so that you can come back and watch more tomorrow. Hit, give this video a like if you liked it, and comment down below what is your favorite body moisturizing lotion so that I have some, not lotion, moisturizing soap so that I have some new things to try. I'm going to move over here so that you can click on some of my lovely links. And with that, that marks the end of this video. So I will see you guys next time. Until then, toodaloo. Okay, I assume you've clicked some of my lovely links by now when you're gone. So I'll see you later. Bye.